So, we've already seen that this game controls far too fast. So the first thing we need to do is show off what ice physics are like in this. Oh god, that oh, midi! No. What is this intro? I could have done the soundtrack <laughs> way better than this shit. Was this played on bagpipes? Digitized yes. <laughs> ones? The gray is the default game maker room background thing. Also, oh my god, that turret! God damn, that were some awesome dodges. <laughs> is this what Genji Nafune was doing the entire time he is supposed to be working on Mighty Number no. Nine? This is the Mighty Number no. Nine prototype. No, this is what Mega Man Universe would have looked like. Look at those ice physics. Oh jeez. Hot damn, Arino. Fun fact, if you actually slide enough, you can fling yourself into a wall and get stuck. Somehow I'm not surprised. Just a slide speed, not reset if you fall off. That's great. Surprise spikes. At oh. this speed. Amazing. Funnily enough, this game doesn't do it that often, but when it does, it's very annoying. Do the ice physics change every block? <laughs> or are you just desperately trying to not lose control? <laughs> I have not figured out how the ice physics work yet, they just feel wrong. Spoilers, they don't. It's really weird to see the slide, like, only sort of increase your speed. Like, it's really weird because it's, like, short, but it's also faster, but not by much. So you just sort of scoot forward. Aww. It might be getting messed up because, like, ice blocks are overlapping or something like that. Yeah, I thought that the, the, your speed changes as the border uh, between uh, blocks changes. Which is like, incredibly weird. Yeah, it probably has like, reset and then recalculates. I also seem to notice that at the end of the slides in this, you actually speed up. Sometimes you'll speed up in mid-air. <laughs> this background moving so quickly makes my eyes hurt. Checkpoint! Checkpoint! <laughs> I thought that said error report. It's really weird looking at this because everything looks like it's just had lead weights tied to it, even the health upgrades. Air report. It looks like you're playing Mega Man Project Zero. You want some help with that? Oh, you cannot pick it up. Yeah, because you're already at full health. Yeah, why not change that? Look, you just have to have it rubbed in your face that you're not getting the thing that you need. Also, um, you're not going to see me pick up a lot of E-Tanks, and there's a very good reason for that. I don't know if it's just me, but the game actively crashed every time I tried to use an E-Tank when below half health. <sighs> I'm sure it's you and your incompetence. It doesn't know how to deal with that. Get better at this game, god. I know, you saw those dodges at the beginning of the video. <laughs> the game took pity on you before you even got hit. Oh, look at that sick gradient in the background. This is a professional video game. Error report. Spinning head. Oh my god, the speed. <laughs> That's clearly a curling puck. With eyes and a jaw. Mega Man is a retiree and has to play with uh, curling pucks. Well, the pucks were in Mega Man 6. What the fuck? Hey man, if you really want to kill someone, a curling puck's not a bad solution. I can take on an ankle, no problem. Are there mountains above these mountains, or what's going on here? They're the Canadian Filter Mountains, okay? Just don't look at them too much. What? Oh. Oh, this is- this is the checkpoint. Here's the thing about this checkpoint. If you die and get sent to that checkpoint, you'll actually spawn inside that little spot where you're supposed to slide. <laughs> oh, jeez. And if you try to slide out of it, you'll fall out of the world and softlock the game. Wow, what a good game! Error report. Almost as good as my programming. You know, I thought Robotnik was the one that had deadly speed traps. Clearly, I was wrong. Well, I am speechless. No, Dr. Wily kind of beats him out. That's why you're seeing me being careful. Why hasn't there been a fan game where you have to fight Dr. Robotnik and his robots? There probably is. Yeah, there probably is. I can't get over the default gray background. <laughs> Someone's looking it up. I can hear you. Dr. Robotnik fan game. Wonder if there's going to be a Shadow Man, you know, like in the oh, comics. Oh, Newgrounds! Ratings for September 11th, 2012. Oh, well. Checkpoint. Rip. Air report, you mean? Hey, to be fair to me, I'm watching this at 144p, so oh. I can't read words. <laughs> is that an active choice by yourself? That is weak to the Mega Buster, alright. Oh, that's a good freezing effect. It is. Just, just a random sprite that doesn't even look like a Mega Man sprite, just pasted on Mega Man. 
Mega looks so unimpressed when he's frozen. Like, yeah, whatever. He stopped caring after a while. It's not like I can feel it or anything. Now Mega is just so chill that he doesn't care about being chilled. To the bone! So, Chill Spike is pretty much the best weapon in the entire game because it one shots everything. Well, almost everything. There's a few things you don't want to use it on. I like that the preview shows that if you shoot the chill spike against the chill spike, it will shatter. God damn it! You know, if we get to Skullman and he dies, will we even notice that his portrait's changed? <laughs>